One of the biggest issues, so a lot of people will be focusing on bias of the platforms. What we need to start talking about is that the President of the United States is cultivating his own media channel. Um, nothing says that he has the right or needs to communicate to 61 plus million people on Twitter. Mm -hmm. He's claiming bias, but maybe we should be considering that the President of the United States should not be able to circumvent the press, okay? And so that's what's happening. The people he's invited to the White House are the people who are amplifying his message. Uh, he leverages Fox News, etc., but they're not even at the White House. House. It's really these fringe actors who are amplifying. It's a way to cheat the algorithm and to promote more content so that he can get views. There was a very real and vast conspiracy to unseat him, and now it's all laid out as clear as day in the pages of Time magazine. The article written by Nancy Pelosi biographer Molly Ball describes this effort as, quote, a well-funded cabal of powerful people working together behind the scenes to influence perceptions, change rules and laws, steer media coverage and control the flow of information. They were not rigging the election, they were fortifying it. But we're going to win the war of putting him in jail, whatever we have to do. And we're not gonna necessarily play fair. And for all the intellectuals out there, whose hair is gonna go on fire, but we're becoming like them, we're becoming like them, we cannot lose the next election. We will go back 50 years. <laughs> The world's richest person who is very good at accumulating wealth and power thinks this is worth spending tens of billions of dollars on because, frankly, he thinks it's that valuable and he thinks it may help him. Trump, by the way, today is claiming he won't even return to Twitter if the ban were lifted, but few take what Donald Trump says seriously on that score. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you under the impression that anyone takes you seriously? You are quite literally the least watched person in Democrat state media. If you own all of Twitter or Facebook or what have you, you don't have to explain yourself. You don't even have to be transparent. You could secretly ban one party's candidate or all of its candidates all of its nominees, or you could just secretly turn down the reach of their stuff and turn up the reach of something else, and the rest of us might not even find out about it till after the election. What? You don't say. Welcome to the party, pal. What we just heard from the most unpopular guy in cable fake news was an outright confession of all the things they've been doing to their political opponents, which backs up everything I've said about their warped rationalizations for cheating to keep Democrats in power. Believe they are who they tell you they are. And don't spend your money on Prevagen because they sponsored this Democrat party gaslighting session. That's all for this one. Hit that like button and let us all know what you think in the comments. <laughs>